Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can overclock your graphics card to get a huge FPS boost and also stop game stuttering as you can optimize the temperature of your GPU inside the application I'll be showing you today. The application is called MSI Afterburner and in here you can change the memory overclock, the voltage overclock, the fan speed. There's so many things you can change inside this application and I'll be showing you how to do so now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go onto Google Chrome or whatever web browser you have and open this page. I'll leave it linked in the description. And once you're on this page, click the 4.6.5 final and download this. Once it's installed onto the desktop, you just need to extract it and then run the setup right here. And then choose your language, click next, agree to the terms, then click next again. You don't have to have these, but I would recommend keeping them ticked. The Reva Tuna Statistics Server, I would recommend keeping this ticked. Then just click next and run the installation. Once it's installed, it'll be on the desktop and when you open it, it should bring up something that looks like this. And in here, you can edit all of the core clock, memory clock, everything I said at the start of the video, you can edit in here. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. So the first thing you're going to want to do inside of here to increase your performance is drag the temperature limit all the way to the right and then click the little A here. And then you're going to drag the fan speed to around 60, 70 ish. But if you don't care about your fans being loud, you can put it on 100 to get the fastest cooling and make sure it doesn't possibly overheat. But if you care about that, then drag it around to around 70 and you should be good. The final thing you're going to want to do is put the core clock up around 150 depending on how good your graphics card is. If you've got a really bad graphics card then don't touch the core clock. But with any graphics card the memory clock is what you should really focus on. Put this up around 200 to 250 if you have a really good graphics card and if you have a decent graphics card put it up around 100 to 150 and if you have quite a bad graphics card put it up around 50 and once you've done this click the green tick to apply it and then you can minimize this while you're playing after doing this you can load up your game and enjoy the big increase in performance and less game stuttering i know this video was short guys but i do hope it helped you out and if it did make sure you drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.